Okay, let's start with reading. We're going to talk about the vocabulary of the new story that we're going to start reading next week. That is the storm class. That's the vocabulary of the story, the title of the story, the storm. So let's talk about the vocabulary. But before that, do you know one of the powerful uh, French terms? Which is terms you can mention, class? Or maybe you can tell me the name of the picture that it's here. What is this? Tornado. It's a tornado. That's right. Excellent. So one of the storms we can mention is a tornado. Excellent. Tornadoes, they are considered one of the powerful friends to class. So they are also called twisters or cyclones that start in a giant storm cloud. Yes, tornado Santiago Chavez, that's right. So you see, the, look at those pictures, guys. Look how it looks a tornado. What are the damage that you think that the tornado can, can make us? Why the destroy houses? Mm -hmm. Destroy houses. That's right. Look at here. Before the tornado, this house looks, looks in this way. So beautiful, so nice. But after the tornado, look at the, this house. Because of the tornado, this house was destroyed. It was destroyed. So a tornado or an alert storms can make some damage or it can destroy. And also, even people can die with a tornado. So everybody needs to look for a place to stay safe. Look at here. This is another picture or another destruction of this tornado. How it looks, this house and the car. Look at the car. Destroyed. These people now, they might think you were where we're going to live because it was destroy everything, not just the house, everything that it was inside of that house, the television, the bed, everything that it was in the house, it was in this. So the tornadoes the there, yeah. the food also that it was there, yes. So everything was destroyed. That's what it's considered is a, a, the most powerful storm cause. Now, Let's let's look at this page, page 300. They might be the story. What do you think the story might be about, class, now? Of a tornado. Yeah. A tornado, it's, that's right. A the tornado and a, boy, and a boy that live in one house and because the tornado no have house and I in Cia's um, house, Cia de Ruedas. Wheelchair. We feel because the tornado, um, I think, the last thing more. Guitars him. Okay, so that's your prediction. You see here, just about the title, you say that it was going to be about the storm, the tornado. And Rebecca makes some prediction now. Then we're going to see if it's correct or not correct that the Rebecca's prediction, yes? It was the boy that is in the wheelchair and everything that she will say. Excellent. Now, let's define the vocabulary. We have some words to know. We have accident, coax, nozzle, soothing, tornado, and wheel class. So let's read in the path of the twister. Rebecca, help me to read this, please. The wheel of the window was a scene just a new. A tornado might be on each way. Just can't remember that some of the animals were in the fields. He wanted to avoid an accident where they might be hurt in the storm, so he decided to bring them in for protection first. Justin connects connected toasted the ocean into the brown. Then inside of a excellent sound the sound that a something one to come them as the tornado pushes show of the farm doesn't follow it. Horse Nestle him with his nose to say thank you. 
Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So you see here we are using in a plethora the words that we have. And it talks about one boy, Justin. Justin was seeing on through the window that a tornado was coming, right? So what is whale? Do you know what is whale? Do you know what is it, whale? No? No. Okay. Okay, we are going to find it. Tornado, what is a tornado? It's a natural disaster. It's a natural disaster. Uh, sorry, excellent, Lucia. Excellent. Accident, what is accident? Accident is so bad. Example, like an accident of a car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. An accident is something that is no, uh, you don't plan that, right? It's some planning, something that happened, it can happen. So like you mentioned, a car, can you buy car, you buy, you, uh, when you are in the car, you can have an accident, a crash car. Cost, you know what is a cost? Oh, okay. It says Justin cuts the horses into the barn. Mm -hmm. Then it's an anxiety. So, okay, soothing. Do you know what is soothing? No. Want to count then? It says that he was his son. Uh, then a soothing one to count them. He was singing a soothing song to count the animals in the the, the horses in the barn. Okay, as a tornado, favorite has nozzle. Do you know what is nozzle? Nozzle can with its nose to say thank you. No. What do you mind when it says here, Justin's favorite horse nozzle him with his nose to say thank you. Then you are going to see, you're going to see, oh, my dog like to nozzle me, my cat. Okay, let's see here. We have to copy the definitions class and we're going to write one sentence for each of these. Everybody should write one sentence for number one, one sentence for number two, one sentence for number three. I'm going to ask volunteers to share the, the sentences. So what is accident and no so? Okay, I'm going to define number one, accident. Accident is something that is harmful or unlucky that happens unexpectedly. Sentence. Who can tell me one sentence using the word accident? My my mom. My friend got an accident. My friend got an accident in the car. Okay, hold on. Let's see, Marcelo. It seems that like you have one question, Marcelo. What is your question, Marcelo? Copy. Copy. Uh, yes, you have to copy. Sentences. You have to write the meaning and the sentence. You have to write a sentence by yourself. Yes. yes. Okay, Rosa, tell me your uh, sentence using the word accident. My uncles have an accident in the kitchen. Okay, actually, I can write the example of Rosa here. This is Rosa's example. You don't have to copy that sample. It's just an example. My cousin had an accident. In the kitchen. That is the example of Rosa. You don't have to copy this. You have to create your sentence using the word that is here. In the first one, it's accident. So you can underline, you can color the word accident so you know that that is the word that you are using. Number two, cups. It's something it's persuaded and gently. Look at the picture here, number two. The boy, what is the boy doing? This boy, it's playing, 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 video, games. Games. playing video games. And they might they might see the more it might see uh, the mother and the father. What do you think they are doing? They are trying to persuade it. Persuade it is trying to convince the boy, the boy, the boy, not to be playing video games, but in a soft way. That is cute. It's too sweet, sweet talk. For example, your mom, your dad, your grandfather, your grandmother can tell you like, Lucia, uh, can you please come here and help me to uh, to wash the dishes? Uh, so they want you to help you to do something else, not to be playing video games or to be making TikToks, for example. So they are trying to persuade you, they are trying to convince you to do something different. So that is cute. It's a sweet talk. It's a Synonym for persuading, trying to convince you to do something. 
For example, I'm going to write one sentence here using cups, but you have to write your, you don't have to copy my example. This is just my example. Mm. Roberto. Okay. My friend, 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 my Okay, yes, you can say it. You can, you can, but you don't have to write convince, you have to write coach. For example, here, I will try to cause my books to have a race. Or, oh, yeah, it's a race, I can write it. So I'm using my, the word. My mom can't oh. with It can be with my mom can't or to go to mm -hmm. Okay, for example, this. Give me your example one more time, uh, Kalea, please. Roberto, you go to your best friend that not play video games all the day. Okay, Roberto calls his best friend not to play it. video games all the day video games during the whole day. Okay, excellent, that is a good example. Okay, that is a good example, Khaled. So you write coach with ED because it can be in past. I mean, Roberto Cox, his best friend not to play video games during the whole day. It's in past or with Ital without ED because I'm writing in the future. That's why I didn't write ED there. there. Okay. Who else wants to give me a sentence? Are you using coach? My mom asked me to go to sleep. Okay, excellent. My mom asked me to go to sleep. Yes, yeah, she's trying to persuade it to go to sleep at 9 p.m., not at 10, not 11, not 12. Not too late. Mm -hmm. What else? Everybody write your sentence. You don't have to copy this example. Please, I don't understand why it's the... What is? The number work. two. Yeah. The number two, okay. Cause it's try to persuade, to convince you. So in our words, cause it's to convince to do something like this. Roberto try to convince his best friend not to play something. It's tratar de convencer like we say in Spanish, but in a good way. Thank you. Okay. Okay, number three class. What is nozzle? It's round with the nose. Look at the picture there. Nozzle, what is this boy doing? He's with a, with a dog and he's nozzling. So it means that it's like hugging when you hug. It can be a dog, it can be a person, it can be with your mom also. And you use your nose to give like a, a, a movement in the nose of the other person. That is nozzle class. Who wants to try one example with nozzle? My grandmother used nozzle to my, to my mom. My mom nas nozzled me. Okay, yes, my grandmother nozzled my mom. Okay. 
you can say, for example, uh, Rebecca says, when I'm sad, for example, when I, when Rebecca is sad, her mom nozzle here. Nozzle. When Rebecca was sad, in fast. When Rebecca was sad, her mom nuzzled her. So this is a sentence. It means that the mom was hugging, hugging Rebecca, and also with the nose, giving like a kiss with the nose, like an in schema kiss. Yes. Or when you are, oh, you can write, when I'm sad, my dog, my dog nuzzled me to cheer me up, for example. If you have dogs, if you have cats, you might nuzzle them or they might nuzzle you. They like to be nuzzled, especially cats. I think me. You write your sentence, Anna. Lucia, tell me, Lucia. Oh, you have your dog there. You, so if you hug your dog and you with your nose, you can give like a kiss to the nose of your dog. You are not so weird dog. There, there it is, you see. So you can write a sentence what you are doing. You are not so weird dog. Mm -hmm. Who else wants to share sentences with coax, nozzle, or accident? My, my dad knows on my mom. Mm -hmm. My uncle has an accident. My uncle has an accident? Okay. But my it's not true, dad. Anna. It's not true. Oh, okay. It's just, I was thinking like, it's true. Lucia, tell me. My friend has a accident with her. With, with. with her car? Yes. Mm -hmm. Who else? Sentences, class. Give me sentences. My dad nuzzled me. My dad nuzzled me. Yeah. Excellent. Mia Valentina, you have a sentence with one of these three words. Santiago Chavez, you have a sentence with one of these three words. Oh, you don't have to copy these sentences. I'm going to erase these sentences. You have to write your own sentence. They were just examples. Isabella, you have a sentence? Um, my best friend and we're to the party. Okay, excellent. 76 years. Santiago, uh, you don't the have last to time it was listen to structure. You have to write one sentence by yourself using that word. You have to create your own sentence. No soul. No soul. Yes. Nozzle is like hugging when you hug someone or something and you move your nose to the nose of the other person or the animal. Look at the boy. The boy is hugging the dog and with the nose, he is like giving a kiss, but with the nose, he's moving here. Nozzle. My friend had an accident in the car. The word is coaxing. Okay, thank you, Danny. Coax, look at here. Coax is when you try to convince to do something someone else. That is coax, trying to what? convince, to persuade. Usted está tratando de convencer a alguien a hacer algo. That is coax. Yeah. Praise a date. Mm -hmm. But in a good way. Look at this. The boy is playing, so they're... Um, his parents, it's trying to coax him to and stop playing. Santiago, give me the sentence one more time. Santiago Chavez. I don't know what you're listening to. It sounds like, like a little... Yeah. You share a, a sentence? <laughs> yeah, I'm a party. <laughs> no? Give me your sentence, class. You finish, you write a sentence for number one, two, and I three. I will try to coax my father to play. Mm -hmm. You can try to coax your parent to pay, play. Excellent, Danny. Okay, let's go to number four, five, and six. Now, you're going to write sentences using these older ones. Number four, it's soothing. It's something that it's calming, comforting. So write your sentence using this word class. Something that it's calming, comforting. Look at that picture. 
If you are in that place, it can be so soothing. If you are in a place that is quietly so soothing, it's something calming, relaxing. This is a synonym for relaxing also. Relaxing. It's a synonym, something relaxing, calming, comforting. Class. That is. Teacher, what is soothing? Here you have the definition calming, something that is calm, comfort, that gives you comfort or relaxing. For example, I'm going to write here the music, the music had a soothing, soothing effect in my life. Or when you are have soothing effect, you can become relaxed or calm. Or it when you were a baby, the baby. On the baby. My mom is a Latino in the TV. I told you. This channel in the TV is stupid. Okay, thank you, Danny. Good job. Write it, write it on the mom. My mom is relaxing when she is sleepy. sleepy. Yeah, but do not write relaxing, write soothing. That is the word that you need to use. Where it's excellent. Uh, my mom is something when she is sleepy. Mm -hmm. I have a sentence. That music is for me. Mm -hmm. That music. The music, okay. Isabella, tell me, Isabella. I have a sentence with two things. Excellent. Give me your sentence, please. That song is two things for my mom. To my mom. Okay, excellent. The song is something for my mom. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the tornado is not a disaster. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, I listen to someone that has a microphone. Uh, let's see who you see. Okay, let's see. I see the uh, listening the uh, someone that was talking, Rebecca Rosa, please. Uh, just Rebecca's microphone on right now. Just Rebecca, collect your microphone, please. Rebecca, what was your question? How can I say in English, sobarla in English? Sobarla? Yes. My mom mm. likes it when I am Camila, so. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how to say sobar in English. I'm going to look for that word, sobar. Okay, think in your sentence for tornado. Let's hold on. A tornado uh, is a natural disaster. A tornado that, is a national his disaster. A tornado yes. destroys a house. A tornado destroys a house, that's right. Okay, excellent. So what is need? A tornado destroyed my house. Need. How do you spell that word? So what? Um, Isabella, how do you spell that word for, uh, in English? K-M-E-A-D. E-A-D? Okay, thank you. That is so what. Thank you, Isabella. Rebecca, that is need. Thank you. Okay, excellent. So tornado, remember tornado is a bell and destructive whirlwind. So you write a tornado is natural disaster, a tornado destroy my house, a tornado destroy my friend's house, something like that. Okay, excellent. A tornado is so big. A tornado, okay, tornado is a storm. Okay, it's so big. Okay, perfect. And the last word is whale class. What is whale? My little brother has a long whale. Excellent. So it's a sound that is like a long cry. So look at the boy is crying. So that is well, it's a synonym for cry. The baby is well. The baby began to wail. That's right. That is a one sentence. The baby began. My little brother has a long wail. My little brother has a long wail. Yeah, so it means that he was he has a long cry. So yes, he has a long whale. So you see, we have the word whale that it's included on the sentence. So you create your own sentence. You don't have to copy this. I'm writing just as an example. Who has more sentences using these words? 
the baby is you saw, you saw whale. Mm -hmm. The baby is wh whaling. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing what the word is. Whatever word, you can tell me one word with whale, what tornado, or with the tornado the train, the, train, the train station. Okay, actually, no, not the tornado destroyed the train station. Good job. What else? Another sentence. Mia, share one sentence, please. Alberto, you have sentences. You write your own sentences. No. Ooh. Hermes, you wrote you write your own sentences. No. Okay, you are going to write your sentence, one sentence for each, take a photo and upload it to school. I'm going to read your own sentences first. I want to see that you write your sentences. Because you can copy this, but I want you to create your own sentences. So your own sentences like your classmate that they were sharing. Okay, thank you, Anna. Dani, yes, but everybody should take a photo and upload it to school with this. Everybody with the sentence. Okay, Baba, you can go and have your 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 recess. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Rosa, you have an example. Tell me what is your example. So in the tornado, mm -hmm. the tornado is over. The tornado is over, over. excellent, good job, perfect. Remember, take a photo and upload it to school with you. Bye-bye class, see you later.